Hello friends, welcome back to the lecture series on spoken English course online. We have been discussing phrases in the last lecture. I have briefed you about noun phrase and verb phrase. Let us now look at the next type, major type that is adjective phrase. What is adjective? You already adjective bagge kalti diri. Adjective antandre guna visheshana. Yaudo vandu vastu yau tara irtade. Athava vyakti yau tara irtane. Athava vandu sthala yau tara ide. Adanna varnane madua shabda galige nau guna visheshana anta hertebe. Samanyavagi guna visheshagana nau balas to balstebe. Worldedu, ketadu, yatradu, amele, ati sitina, ati mrudu. So, how are the itara aneka guna vishesha and garana now burstave? In the same way, we use lots of adjectives in English. Now, adjective phrase is nothing but combination of words where adjective is the main word and there are other words relating to the adjective. What are the examples? Either definitions nanapido do bala easy. Yava shabda samucha dali. Guna visheshana ke matwa jastini laktado, ash of the samuchevana adjective phrase anta now karitevi. Examples are clever idea. Oh, it's a clever idea. Oh, it's a brilliant idea. Clever. See, I am underlining the word clever because I am stressing on that word. It is a clever idea. What is clever? Idea is clever. How is idea? Now, it depends on question. What kind of idea? Clever idea. Who or what is the answer? It is usually noun. 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 How? 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 The tall boy. How is that boy? He is a tall boy. He is a tall boy. She is a tall girl. Then next, the highest waterfall. Highest waterfall. Ati yattara da jalapata. Ali na ho, adara gunakke mahatwa nirtai deve adikke. Ivella adjective phrases. Ripe fruits. Yau tarad hannu? Balutid da hannu. Atava hanna giro anta hannu. Ripened. Okay. Not the kacha fruits, but pakka fruits. Pakka hua ante valla. Aatara. Colorful flowers. How are the flowers? The flowers are colorful. Colorful is the adjective. Very big meal. In that hotel, they offer a very big meal at a low rate. Very big meal at a low rate. There, used, there I used two adjective phrases. Very big meal. Vandu. Alli very big anuva shabdagaligi nanu mahatwa kodutene at a low rate. How is the rate? Low rate, low cost. Ee thara adjective phrases na nao northeve. Later we will look at the sentences and then you can understand how they are used in sentences. So it is nothing but an adjective phrase can be a single adjective or a group of words built around that single adjective. Adjective. Iga very big and tande. Very big. Big okay. Very big. Andre other bigness. Andre dodd de rodu. Other size innu jasti de. Anta torus like we added the word very. Very big. If we are to say re, our adjective na quality na increase martha ve. Very big meal. Are you understanding this? So this is an adjective phrase. Now. We have to be very clear. Again, I am telling this again. When I told you about noun phrases, I had already told this. Now I am repeating it. It almost looks like a noun, noun phrase. But in this phrase, in this santandre, in adjective phrase, adjective becomes more important than the noun. Nama pada kinta ille guna visheshana ke jasti mahatwa nao nirteve hangagi even na adjective phrase anteve. It all depends on where you stress, where, which word you are stressing when you are speaking out the sentence. 
Now let us look at the most common example of phrases that is prepositional phrase. Even nantu now sikka patte balastevi. Almost in every sentence we use prepositional phrase. Where is the book? The book is on the table. Where is the car? The car is in the parking lot. In the parking lot. Illi preposition. We have already discussed so much about prepositions. The word, the group of words which is associated with a preposition and which tells us the place or time or the logical relation that we call as prepositional phrase. Now look at the examples, the things will be clear to you on the table. Where is the book? I ask. The book is on the table. Where is the camera? The camera is in front of me. Where is the bus? The bus is in the bus stand or at the bus stand. Where are you? I am at my office. At my office, in the bus stand, on the table, in front of me, behind me, behind the tree, above the ground, above the sea level. All these are prepositional phrases because these contain the prepositions such as in, on, over, above, in front of, beside and so many more prepositions. We have, we have discussed in detail on the prepositions. So, wherever you find prepositions in a sentence, just look at the words nearby the preposition and you will underline it as prepositional phrase. Between a rock and a hard place, in the dark room, in the dark of a night, over the rainbow, by the brook, all these are prepositional phrases. They tell you about a location or some time when an event has taken place. For a while is also a prepositional phrase. Itara prepositional phrases now note the way. Then what is adverbial phrase? Adverbi adverbial phrase means the phrases which have adverbs and the relating words to it. Adverb antandre kriya visheshana. Nodri don't get confused between kriya visheshana matto guna visheshana. Kriya Visheshan Antandre Ali Vandu Kelasa Yautara Aktaide Adar Bagana Hurteve that is Kriya Visheshana. He studies well. He studies quite well. Idu Kriya Visheshan. Ava Abhyasa Yautara Martane. Valeri Tieli Martane. She sings melodiously. She sings very melodiously. Bala Sushravyavagi Haduttale. Ili Avalu. Hardua on the Kriye Adu Yautarakta de Sushravya Vagi de Kirlike Wale than Stai de Sumadura Vagi de Iduino Kriya Visheshana Yava Vakya the Li on the Shabda Samuchae de As Shabda Samuchae the Li Kriya Visheshana Kimatu and Idilagi deo Such kind of a phrase is called adverbial phrase. Look at the examples very slowly as fast as possible, surprisingly well quite easily. I completed the work quite fast, quite easily. He runs very slowly. The train moves very fast. He studies quite well. All these are adverbial phrases. The next type we are going to study is gerund phrase. The definition of a gerund phrase will be a phrase where gerund becomes important word is called gerund phrase. Look at the examples. Taking my dog for a walk is a fun. Taking my dog for a walk idu or taking my dog idu illi gerund phrase anta now helabodu. Having money is everyone's desire. Now look at the sentence here. Having money, the word have is a verb actually. Adu kriyapada. What is the usual sentence pattern in English? Kannada togolri kartru karma kriyapadante. Nanu hannu tindenu. Nanu chapati tindenu. Nanu is kartru. Andre yaru kelasa martare ama kartru. Amele adu vyaktir bodu was tuir bodu. But yaru a karyan martare. Avaru kartru. Karma antandre yen martaidare. Adu karma. Ilnudri. 
ಹಣ್ಣು ತಿಂದೆನು ತಿಂದೆನು ಇದು ಕ್ರಿಯಾಪದ ಆದರೆ ಏನನ್ನು ತಿಂದೆನು ಹಣ್ಣನ್ನು ತಿಂದೆನು ಹೂ ಅಂತ ಕೇಳಿದ ಮೇಲೆ ದಿ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ವಿ ಗೆಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಹೂ ಡಿಡ್ ದ ವರ್ಕ್ ಐ ಡಿಡ್ ದ ವರ್ಕ್ ಮೈ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ ಡಿಡ್ ದ ವರ್ಕ್ ವಾಟ್ ಡಿಡ್ ಯು ರೀಡ್ ಐ ರೆಡ್ ಅ ಬುಕ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಗ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಮಾಡುವಾಗ ಏನು ಅಂತ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಕೇಳಿದಾಗ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಏನು ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಬರ್ತದೆ ಉತ್ತರ ಬರ್ತದೋ ಅದು ಕರ್ಮಪದ ಮತ್ತು ಕ್ರಿಯಾಪದ ನಮಗೆ ಗೊತ್ತಿದೆ ಓದುತ್ತೇನೆ ಬರುತ್ತೇನೆ ಹೋಗುತ್ತೇನೆ ಮಾಡುತ್ತೇನೆ ನಗುತ್ತೇನೆ ಅಳುತ್ತೇನೆ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ ಕ್ರಿಯಾಪದಸ್ ಆರ್ ವರ್ಬ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಇಂಗ್ಲೀಷ್ ಇಂಗ್ಲೀಷ್ನಲ್ಲಿ ದ ಪ್ಯಾಟರ್ನ್ ಗೆಟ್ಸ್ ಅ ಲಿಟಲ್ ಚೇಂಜ್ಡ್ ಹೌ ಇಸ್ ದ ಪ್ಯಾಟರ್ನ್ ದೆನ್ ಕನ್ನಡದಲ್ಲಿ ಸಂಸ್ಕೃತದಲ್ಲಿ ಹಿಂದಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಕರ್ತೃ ಕರ್ಮ ಕ್ರಿಯಾಪದ ಸಂಸ್ಕೃತದಲ್ಲಿ ಇಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಲೈಕ್ ಎನಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಸಂಸ್ಕೃತ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ವೆರಿ ಫ್ಲೆಕ್ಸಿಬಲ್ ಲ್ಯಾಂಗ್ವೇಜ್ ಕ್ರಿಯಾಪದನು ಕೂಡ ಮೊದಲು ಹಾಕಿ ಸೆಂಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಸಂಸ್ಕೃತದಲ್ಲಿ ಬಟ್ ಇನ್ ಅವರ್ ಅದರ್ ಇಂಡಿಯನ್ ಲ್ಯಾಂಗ್ವೇಜಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಮೈಟ್ ಬಿ ಮರಾಠಿ ಕನ್ನಡ ಹಿಂದಿ ವಿ ಸಿ ದ ಯೂಶುವಲ್ ಪ್ಯಾಟರ್ನ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಕರ್ತೃ ಕರ್ಮ ಕ್ರಿಯಾ ಬಟ್ ಇನ್ ಇಂಗ್ಲೀಷ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಲಿಟಲ್ ಚೇಂಜ್ಡ್ ವಿ ಸೆ ವಿ ಯೂಸ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಕರ್ತೃ ದೆನ್ ವಿ ಯೂಸ್ ಕ್ರಿಯಾ ದೆನ್ ವಿ ಯೂಸ್ ಕರ್ಮ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ verb object iga aa tara nao sentence pattern nodidaga look at the examples given there having money is everyone's desire is annodu illi kriya pada of course it is helping verb but still it is the only kriya pada or verb there having money is everyone's desire yenadu ellara aase new s v o subject verb object nodidaga illi subject yen aagutade having money that becomes the subject it almost works as a noun here that is a gerund signing autographs takes time signing autographs takes time signing autographs it is a gerund here then next example singing songs is my hobby singing songs is my hobby going for ice cream is a real treat going for ice cream idu ella seri ondu gerund phrase aagta ide hope you are understanding the examples focus on the examples more than remembering the definition only the examples will teach you grammar in general talking about phrases these are very commonly used in our communicative or our written language as well very commonly used but a conscious effort to identify phrases will enable us to identify the types of phrases namde enille ಮಾಡೋದು ಕರ್ತವ್ಯ ಏನು ಅವನ್ನ ನಾವು ಲಕ್ಷ ಕೊಟ್ಟು ನೋಡಬೇಕು ಲಕ್ಷ ಕೊಟ್ಟು ನೋಡಿದಾಗ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಟೈಪ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಈಸೀಲಿ ಲರ್ನ್ ದೆಮ್ ಇನ್ ಅ ಬೆಟರ್ ವೇ ದೆರ್ ಆರ್ ಸೆವರಲ್ ಅದರ್ ಟೈಪ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಫ್ರೇಸಸ್ ಸಚ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಅಬ್ಸೊಲ್ಯೂಟ್ ಫ್ರೇಸ್ ಇನ್ಫಿನಿಟಿವ್ ಫ್ರೇಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಸಿಪಲ್ ಫ್ರೇಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸೋ ಮೆನಿ ಮೋರ್ ಬಟ್ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಎಟ್ ಅ ಲಿಟಲ್ ಅಡ್ವಾನ್ಸ್ಡ್ ಲೆವೆಲ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಯು ಶುಡ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಥೊರೋ ವಿತ್ ದಿ types that we have already seen like noun phrase verb phrase adverbial adjective gerund phrase and so on now it is time to brush up our minds and just look at the extent of our understanding of phrases yes ta- phrases now understand maadkondeve we will look at them through the exercise here are the questions you can try identifying the phrases have a look at these questions here what is your duty now is to identify different kinds of phrases in the following sentences let us go one by one i longed to live near the sea already nan underline madidene new adu yava type aste helri then later we will look at the answers okay let us see how many of you can give the correct answers first sentence is i longed to live near the sea near the sea is a type of phrase you identify which type of phrase it is second he has led a very interesting life he has led a very interesting life ha illi he has na hang barden nodri he apostrophe s he has you have to read it as he has not his he has led a very interesting life third a vase of roses stood on the table i will be going to france next week i will be going i have underlined identify which type of phrase it is he spoke very softly he spoke very softly very softly is the phrase they were arguing about money 
about money. My friend loves riding race bikes. My friend loves riding race bikes. The tall man stood by the roadside. Here I have underlined two phrases for you to identify. Identify both of them. The tall man stood by the roadside. As I said, there might be many phrases in a sentence. Then she was listening very patiently. Very patiently is the phrase for you to identify. Next one, go out of the class. Often the teacher says to the students who are making mischiefs in the class, get out of the class, they say. Okay. So out of the class, what is that phrase you please identify? By now, I hope you have tried to identify the phrases in those sentences. Now let us look at the answers. You can check for yourself how many of you have scored 10 out of 10. Oh, sorry, there are 11 out of 10. Okay, 11 phrases to identify out of 10 sentences. So, let us see how many of you have scored 11 out of 11 marks. Shall we look at the answers? So, the answers go like this. The first one is a prepositional phrase. What was the question? Near the sea. Yes, near the sea. It is a prepositional phrase. Second one, an interesting life is an adjective phrase. Look at the question number two, very interesting life, that is adjective phrase. Answer number three is noun phrase. What was the phrase? A vase of roses, noun phrase. Fourth is verb phrase. What was there in the question? I will be going, that is verb phrase. Fifth one is adverbial phrase very softly is the adverbial phrase there. Sixth question, the answer is prepositional phrase. Let us look at the question. They were arguing about money. So, about money is a prepositional phrase. Seventh one, gerund phrase. Look at the question, riding race bikes. Then adjective phrase and prepositional phrase. The first underline phrase was the tall man. This is adjectival phrase and then by the roadside is prepositional phrase. Ninth one, it is adverbial phrase. She was listening very patiently, adverb. Tenth and the last one is prepositional phrase. Get out of the class or go out of the class. So, out of the class is prepositional phrase. Alright, so hope many of you have scored 11 out of 11. Now, your duty is to identify more phrases like these, underline them in the sentences that you read in the newspaper, in the storybooks, in the magazines or wherever you read English language in your lessons maybe, identify them, underline them, try to identify its type and also use them in your day to day speech make your language rich with phrases. Wish you all the best and thank you so much.